Because, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, why do we lie down between the Sunnah and Fajr Salat? Because, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, because it is a Sunnah, it is a practice of the Prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. Minna khalaqtakum. That ayat that we are reciting when we are lying down from the Quran, verily from the earth we come, from the earth we are created, from the earth we are returning. Inna lillahi inna ilayka raji'un. We come from Allah, we return to Him. We're lying down because Prophet used to do that. Lying down right before getting up. That is a position that we will be buried in. And before you get up to pray, you're lying down, you're reciting that. Prophet used to do that. That is a sunnah. Then, Allahumma thabinna al iman. You get up, Allahu Akbar. The same way that we want when we are buried in this to this earth, we are buried, lying down and immediately getting up for judgment day, not to be there, stuck there in the grave. That is what we're doing. Ah, remembrance of death. Those who have no faith, they will hate death. Faith is believing there is something more than this temporary world in Allah. We came from Him, we are returning to Him. Those who have faith, they are not going to hate death. They are going to treat it seriously. We are not going to throw away life. In fact, everything becomes valuable that time. But we are going to remember death. Because the death now is a doorway to eternal life. And for the uh, believer, for the Ahli Tariqat, Ahli Tasaw, for the Dervish, for the Murid, for the Sufi, remembrance of death is one of the most important things that you have to do on a daily basis. Prophet saying, Alayhi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you remember death 40 times, you get the reward of a martyr, just to remember. Because this whole trouble in this world, us, is because of the attachment that we have to this world. You start remembering death, you start detaching yourself, and you start remembering what is really important. And this dunya, this world, is a prison for the believers. So, what happens then? Your dunya becomes paradise. Your paradise becomes paradise. The troubles of the dunya, of this world, it will not destroy you. Because you don't expect perfection in this world. You don't expect happiness from this world. Happiness comes from Allah. Because your role models now are the prophets and the saints. And they never look for happiness in this world. Their lives are one, one of complete challenge, tests, and hardship. But they are happy, not with this world, they are happy because their Lord is happy with them. Peace comes then. At that time, you can be anywhere. That area will turn into a garden of peace. Ibrahim alayhi salam. Abraham, when Nimrud, Nimrod made a fire and threw him into the fire. And in Islam and Sufism, when he was through the air, the angels came down to him and said, We are here to help you. And that is when Ibrahim salam said, Hasbinallah and Imal Wakil. That a prayer that we are reciting, that I don't think that even those ones who are following Abraham, Ibrahim salam, they're reciting that prayer. We're reciting Ibrahim salam's prayer. Hasbinallah and Imal Wakil. Meaning Allah is enough for us. We're not talking about whether Abraham spoke Arabic or not. It's besides the point. We're talking about the meaning of that. Allah is enough for us. What happened then? That fire. When Ibrahim salam, was thrown into that fire and refused help from anything except for his Creator, the center of that fire, it turned into a rose garden. And a rose garden. And there was a nightingale that was singing. In the middle of the fire, it became a paradise. So, paradise 
and hell. It's in here. Choose. Exercise your will and choose. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum. Have a good night.